Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, we could stand to probably explore the Colosseum a little bit more, but I don't actually know what treasures or Koroks to find here are. There are no shrines here. Um, but yeah. Apparently some of these basic enemies have some good equipment as well. Flame blades and... Uh, royal shields, I believe. But I don't really need them. Oh my goodness, he has a great flame blade. Um, but actually, I think I might just teleport away and do some other stuff. Since I don't actually know what's here. I'll explore this area at, at some other point in time. They have frost blades up here, and probably the, the top floor has electric blades. Or, yeah. Thunder blades, those ones. But anyway, for now, let's actually go over, uh, probably over here. Okay. So I want to climb up a little bit higher than this to keep it, keep exploring. Again, no no more shrines over here to find. There is one more in this region to find. But we're not going to be doing that for a little bit longer. I think. But we have most of the shrines in the game, so... Don't be surprised if I... There aren't much... If I say there's no shrines in this area to get. We have a long way up this path to go, though. <laughs> there's the dragon, of course. Guess he's here at other times than just morning after camping. Okay, um, I can see where the shrine is over there when I did the the giant brothers. Let's go over here where these trees are, since this is probably a Korok. Okay, what's similar about these three trees? Oh, is it the tree branch? No, it's the... There's a hearty... Uh, thing there, so it's this tree that ne needs to be fixed up. Let me see if I can grab those without um, shooting it down. If I can. Oh, enemies. Why? Why, though? Stop, stop, stop. No! Oh my goodness, I have to reload now yeah, because that tree is definitely not going to look like the other two anymore. That's annoying. I don't think chopping them down is going to make it look quite the same. <sighs> Gotta pin this. I don't like the enemies just spawning all the time. Guess I can grab these hearty durians. I think that's what they're called, right? Yeah, hearty durian. Okay. I've had experience with durians before, maybe. In Super Mario Sunshine, that's it. And I will do in November as well. Okay, I don't think these might these might be Koroks, possibly. Or just treasure chests. I think these are treasure chests in this water. But I'm not gonna worry about that too much. I think instead I'm gonna go up this way. To get even higher up. Oh wow, electric keys. Guess it'll be good to take those out so I can have some more electric keys wings. Ow! My stuff! My stuff! My stuff! Oh, don't burn up! Don't burn up! Don't burn up! Don't burn up! Can I grab my stuff, please? Thank you. 
Guess it was a bad idea to use a flame blade when there's monster parts on the ground. Also, I should probably heal, because that seems like a good idea. Just gonna full heal. Oh wow, this area actually connects up with other places. Also, the dragons here. Apparently. Or nearby, at least. It'd be interesting to explore this area a little bit more, but I'm not that interested at the moment. I'm gonna pin this area with a star, so I know I want to explore here at some point. Ah, uh, there's the dragon. I think I've gone past where I was actually aiming for. Which is alright, because the peak of this mountain is right here, and... When there's a peak, there's a Korok. So let's head up here and see if there's a Korok up here. And then figure out which region this is in. So I can mark it off. Probably... The Farron region. Pretty sure. Oh my goodness, there is... Of course there is. Why would I doubt? There's always the Korok at the top of something. <laughs> Probably need to go to Death Mountain and check up there, just because there could be. Um, I think I want to go over here? Probably. This is about as high as this particular type of area looks. Uh, it goes, so. And there's Lionel I want to take out. Fortunately, I didn't let stuff recharge. Hopefully, that's going to be okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, the slowdown just before landing. Um, just because of getting out my bow and pretending to shoot. What stuff have I got equipped? Let me equip some different stuff quickly. Although I don't think I'm gonna, it's gonna be that effective against it. Um, go with this, maybe. Probably a good plan. Let's fight another one of these Lionels. White maned. <laughs> Mighty Banana, save me. Oh, come over here. Come on. Ow. Wasn't even in the area of effect, kind of. Ow. Come and get me. Ow. Oh my goodness, again. Take this. Okay, let's do some damage. Oh my goodness, again. Ow! Oh my goodness. This one fights very differently from the rest because of its weapon. Oh no! Ow! Being in mid-air did not help. I'll dodge. Let me see if I can spin a little bit to get some good damage on him. Nope, apparently not. This one's a bit different, and it's making it a lot harder to fight. Oh, he thought about it, but he didn't. Oh my goodness, more fire. Do some damage. Ow. Ow! He didn't even run and he still hit me. Ow! 
Ow. Oh, no. Ow. Oh, pain, pain, pain. Pain, so much pain. I mean, it's not doing that much damage because I've got good armor. But still. Please, please, sir. Please. Did some damage, and he didn't actually dip me. Get me. Ow. Just get him, please. Oh, Edge of Duality broke. Um. Fire? Ow. It seems to be trying to dodge that does more bad than good. Great flame blade is badly damaged, that's okay. I'm busy. <laughs> oh, please. Oh my goodness. I dodge. I dodge. I dodge. Oh my goodness, flurry rush on this. Thank you. Great flame blade broke. Ah, uh, I'm fine. I'm so fine. Just do damage. 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 Do just do damage. Just do damage. Don't don't worry about being hit. Just do damage. I don't know how I dodged that. That's okay. Do damage, just do damage, just do damage. <laughs> damage, 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 damage. Pain, damage, damage, damage. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's um heal a little bit. What did he just break? Probably some of that wheat. Ow. Ow, get up, Link. Nice fly rush. He's so close to being defeated. Once he's defeated, I can take his hoofs. Oh, it broke again. That's fine. Um, I could try flame blading the rest, even though it's gonna mean I'm gonna take damage for sure. Oh yeah, I can I can use my shield. I remember those things exist. Yeah, I should be blocking more. I wondered where I was going wrong. Apparently I just wasn't blocking any attacks. Anyway, let's grab this stuff. And look at this Savage Lionel Spear. White Head Lionels favor this brutal spear. It's axe-like spearhead and exceptional weight give it absolute destructive power. Cool, I'm gonna leave that bow there. I've got some good ones already. So I think with that, that means that we have... Four Lionel Guts, that's pretty good. So let's go back to the ferry and upgrade some stuff some more. Okay. Enhance my clothing to the max. Soldier's armor. Let's do that. Which I'm pretty sure that my... Yeah, my champion's tunic actually has more defense than that, so that's... Good to know. Soldier's Greaves. <laughs> and I think with that, we've now got probably the best... 
armor we could possibly get, I'm guessing. So let me just check what my defense is currently. Overall. With the champion's tunic and soldiers gear combined. 88 defense! Oh my goodness. It would be good to have other stuff actually have more defense than that though. <laughs> like, well, more defense than it, they currently have. What does that barbarian armor want? Some pretty good stuff, I guess. Um, but I think with that, what do I want to do? <laughs> There's still a lot of things to do. Kind of. Actually, there is one thing I can think of that I kind of want to do now-ish. But I don't know where to start to go there, so... Um, I think I can probably go from here. So let's do that. Also, I still probably want to get some ancient armor as well. And get that leveled up. As much as possible. Yeah, I'm just going to climb up this way. So I can glide down to where I want to go. Because that's exactly what I'm doing up here. Is going up so that I can glide all the way down from the mountain. I'm not actually going to stay up here very long. Where to glide from, though. I'll probably figure it out. Let's go. This way is actually a pretty good direction to go in, so. Guess I'm on track then. Oh, look at the lava. Flying over the lava is fun. Okay. Also, I still want to find the Leviathan bones, but I don't know where to find them on Death Mountain. I know where to find them in other places, but I don't know where to find them on Death Mountain. Because you need to have it with its head as well. It's so not that way. Oh, so we can see the shrine down there in the forest. One head further this way. I don't exactly know how you're supposed to get back here. There's probably a path somewhere that I don't realize about. So I wonder if there's some Koroks up here on some top of some of these things. There are a lot of them though, so I don't want to check them all. I'm just going to check the ones that are directly on my path. Although I don't think I can get up that one very well, unless I change my gear to my climbing gear. Is there something up there? Is there something up there? Is there... No, it doesn't look like it. I might... This is a long thing to climb. Very tall. It's gonna take time to get up to the top. Oh my goodness, it's even bigger than I thought. Once I'm actually on it. Climb, Link. Climb. Need to find the rest of the climbing gear so I can go even faster. Imagine not having the climbing gear right now. And also not this much stamina. I have a feeling I know where the climbing gear is, though. The last bit. Climb. You're almost there, Link. I believe in you. I'm pretty sure you exist in the video game. Oh, I'm gonna run out of stamina. Oh! Somehow made it. And there's nothing up here. Cool. Good. Great. Well, it's worth checking, so no, no, there's nothing up here. So it's time to forget about that there's nothing up here and then climb up here a second time. But anyway, we want to go over towards this darkness over here. 
The first time I saw this darkness on the map, I thought there was just a huge hole, like a bottomless pit, just in the map, which would be cool. There are kind of bottomless pits, but not actual bottomless pits. Just deep ones that you can fall into and die. Go into the darkness. Traveler from beyond these woods, you are now faced with a trial. Find the shrine hidden in the dark these dark ruins. This is the only other place in the game where the radiant armor is anywhere near worth using. So anyway. Let's start taking a look around, I guess. Oh, it's dark. Having a weapon... Or having a torch on fire would be good to actually see around a little bit more than this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Fl flame, flame rod? Fire rod? That one. I'm gonna grab this luminous stone since it's just sitting here. That's actually cool that it's sitting there, though. And being used as light. Um, I don't have a torch on me. There might be one nearby, though. And if I went into the woods the proper way that you're supposed to get into here, I definitely would have found one. Is this... no. There's a light over here. I can figure out how to get there. Something sparkling here. Oh, a torch. I actually needed that, so I might be able to start a fire. We'll go back to the other fire and then... See what I'm supposed to do. Can I light this on this? No. That'd be too easy. But I think I can light this on fire. Which means I can get my torch out like this, and actually see what I'm doing now. Oh hey, torch. Can I, can I light this torch on fire? There we go. Perfect. Get out of the, get out of the hole. So let's explore, I guess, a little bit. Need to actually find where the shrine is in here. And if there are any Koroks in here, I'm not going to be able to find them, because it's too dark. But yeah, torch is a necessity in this place. I think there are some places where I can actually light up. Yeah, like these statues I can light up so I can actually see what I'm doing. But anyway, we actually are at where we need to be now for the shrine. And you can probably hear what we need to do. And yes, I mean here. So. There's a blue Hinox here, so that's not going to take much time to defeat. But it's very creepy having a dark hint. Uh, a, a blue Hinox in the dark here. This just feels like Ocarina of Time bosses when you're spamming in a move on them. The sound effects and everything. But anyway, for taking it out, it drops an orb for us, which means we can open up the shrine. It's not that hard if you have the right equipment and you know what you're doing, but yeah. It's still very creepy to find a Hinox in the dark like that. This is going to be cool when I can actually see it. With its glowing. It looks really cool, actually. Anyway. Try to try and complete. The darkness do doesn't go away in these woods. Always darkness. 
And it's a reward, Blessing Shrine. Ancient Core, I'm quite happy with that. So now, I just want to quickly look at the shrine, shrine while it's blue like this in the darkness. Very cool. And now let's head over to the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Okay. Hey, hey, beep. Familiar name missing. Insert materials and rupees. Receive ancient equipment in exchange. Well, let's go down to the armor. Uh, we already got that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it says one in the inventory. So that's by the other two now, if I have enough stuff for it. I probably do. Exchanging, beep, beep. Exchanging, beep, beep. Results available, beep. Insufficient materials. Oh no, I need any more ancient gears. Oh no. Oh no, I need more ancient gears. Well, I guess I could take out a few more guardians if I need ancient gears. Um, but that requires going against some guardians. Oh, that's only four defense at the moment. Need to improve that. But I need more ancient gears. Just more ancient gears than I can find. Hang on, hang on, just wanted to take you out real quick. And also get rid of some weapons that I don't need apparently. There we go. You're not going to give me all the ancient gears I need, but you're going to give me one. Oh my goodness, ancient gears. What a thing to get. Um, I guess I could go down to over here and try to get some as well. It's just going to be a little bit terrifying going get some actual guardians again. Although I do have the best armor at the moment, so I should be fine. But anyway, let's go down closer to the lake if I can. Because there's a whole lot of area down here. But there's also, of course, once we get a little bit further down. Some guardians just roaming about. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of, lot of the ruined ones as well. So they, and I'm not sure which one of those will just activate when I'm near them. Yeah, let me quickly... Okay, there aren't any of these ruined ones that I can see that are going to just come to life. I can check them for parts though, so that's good. But I guess this would be a good base of operations for getting the Guardians set up 100 years ago. Ancient gear, good. Ancient shaft, that's also good, but not what I'm here for. Excuse me, keys. I need... I need to not die. Get a little bit closer. Get him, 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 get him. I can't see. I can't see. I hope that actually did damage back to him when Druk's protection activated. Oh, and there's the other one coming to attack me. We are luckily fairly strong at the moment. Get them both! 
Get this one while it's stunned. Let's go get this other one. Savage Lion Spear broke, but that's okay. Let's get rid of this weapon now. How are we doing? I'm almost dead. There we go. Cool. Took on two Guardians. That's a pretty good increase of Guardian fight, I guess. Now, how many ancient gears do we have? 15. I need 20, I'm pretty sure. And that's just for buying the rest of the outfit armor. Because I still need to upgrade it as well, which is probably going to take more gears. Probably. 16. Oh my goodness, I wish the random rolls on these drops were better. Ancient screw. It would be also interesting if when you took out a part from one of these ancient ruined guardians, if that made it came to life instead of just being nearby. So it looks like it couldn't come to life, but it could if you accidentally take a part that it needed to be out of the way to make it activate. So many ancient screws. This is a very cool part of the world though, just in this area. With this water and these guardians everywhere. There's so many. So many guardians here. Ancient gear, I believe that's 17. There could also be some Koroks around here that I'm not going to be able to find. Oh, hello! Good to see you. How's your day been going? Let me just take you out real quick. Yeah, let me also... Send that back at you. Perfect block with the shield. Okay, please give me... Nope, okay. So I guess there are some that actually do activate. Or maybe they don't actually show up on the stasis when you do it. And I just didn't know that. But I don't think I can stick around here to try and get some more ancient gears. For much longer. Just because there are faster ways of getting materials. Ancient gear, how many do we have? 18. We're getting so close though. Um, let's head closer to... what's it called? Castle Town, I guess, because there are a lot of Guardians over there. Also, after fighting those Guardian Stalkers, I think I realized another problem I'm going to have when it comes to being prepared for the end of the game. Uh, it's probably not that big of a problem. But I think my other problem is weapon durability and uh, weapon slots. I mean, it's not going to be that much of a problem once we actually get going. But also, um, if my weapons... Oh, oh my goodness, what is with the enemies? If my weapons break and I don't have more... Oh my goodness. Enemies, stop spawning more of yourselves. I'm gonna need to get more weapons or something. But running out of weapons on these Guardians seems to happen a lot. Well, yeah, my, my weapons keep breaking on these Guardians. Oh my goodness, enemies! Key, stop spawning yourselves. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die now. Unless that happens. Cool. Good. I think that was two ancient gears. Oh, four ancient gears. What even? Oh my goodness. Really? 
you really want to do this right now? Now's not a great time, actually. Can you come back? Never. <laughs> they just keep spawning more enemies. Anyway, let's go buy the rest of this armor. And then that will be it for this episode. We might spend some more time upgrading this armor in the next few episodes. What does this take? Too many ancient gears. That's what it takes. Ancient Greaves. Exchange. And there goes all my rupees. Okay. So there we go. We have all the ancient gear now. Just need to level up so we have more defense. But anyway, that is it for this episode of The Legends Out of Breath of the Wild. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.